But most homeowners, again, have this misconception that if it's running all the time, that there's something wrong. And and that's not the case. And even with heat pumps in the in the wintertime, they're like, it just runs all the time and there's cold air coming out. And they just, these are the misconceptions that I'm trying to help clear up for the general public, as right. well as for heating and cooling contractors that just simply aren't aware of it. Um, yeah. And you mentioned the some of the misconceptions. Uh, there was a large one that we faced during the ice storm. You had a lot of well-meaning HVAC professionals saying that once it gets below freezing, turn your heat pump off and flip on the emergency <laughs> heat. Right. And if you want to crash the electrical grid, that's the quickest way to do it. So no one has power. Right. As you said, Eric, a heat pump's designed to run. Let it run. Yeah. So that that's probably, that was one of the most fr- frustrating things that I saw. You know, Kentucky doesn't normally stay that cold. Like it was zero to 20 degrees for, it felt like a month here. And that was just abnormally long, cold streak here. Right. And, 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 you know, friend after friend online sharing well-meaning HVAC contractors advice about, you know, at 30 degrees, turn off your heat pump and turn it to emergency heat. They're going to get huge electric bills and it's unnecessary. And I think part of the reason was because we were expecting some ice storms and they didn't want, you know, the outdoor uh, heat pump condenser to freeze up and, and break. But um, can you speak to the reality of that a little bit? And, and we'll kind of close it up after that. Yeah. A lot of it is positioning, and this is one thing that's so cool about the new generation of heat pumps is they actually blow air out the side. They're a side discharge, so when you position them, you can actually put louvers on them also, so the ice isn't going to be as bad. With with most heat pumps, they also have a defrost cycle. Well, all heat pumps that are air-to-air heat pumps will have a defrost cycle, so if there's ice that gets on the outside coils, then, of course, it'll thaw it off and it goes through defrost where you have to be very cautionary of ice is on the, if it's a discharge, top discharge unit, keeping that clear. You don't want ice to get down in there and hit the blades. So a lot of that with just some, just being aware of it is going to be a, a big, big difference in making sure that the ice doesn't hurt that heat pump and then letting it continue to run 